Hi, my name is Julia Silgi, and I'm a data scientist and software engineer at our studio. And in this screencast today, we're going to use this week's Tidy Tuesday data set about Super Bowl commercials. And we are going to um, uh, uh, explore the relationship between the characteristics of the, um, the Super Bowl commercials and time and say, are these uh, characteristics uh, changing over time? Are, um, uh, are they uh, the use of humor, the use of um, danger, the use of animals in these Super Bowl characteristics? We're going to use, um, we're going to um, estimate whether these characteristics are changing with time using bootstrap confidence intervals. And this is something that using the tidy models um, framework for modeling and machine learning in R that you've always been able to do, but in a recent release of the R sample package, which is part of Tidy Models, we have a new, um, a new uh, convenience function that makes this really fluent and, um, and simple to be able to, um, to get started with for uh, straightforward models like um, uh, LM and GLM. So let's get started. Okay, let's do this. Short and sweet exploration of these Super Bowl commercials. This is a fun um, a data set. Let's get the uh, let's get it loaded up here. So um, there's there's um, it, it was actually a really interesting article that was on 538 that explored um, that so it has the the info on the commercials for the the Super Bowls info on um, you know descriptions on the about it info on how they did on YouTube and then um, what what 538 did was they went and they put these categories on them um, are they patriotic did they have a celebrity in them could you could you tell what it was about really fast? You know, sometimes in commercials you're watching them and they're like, what is this commercial even about? And then eventually there's a big reveal. Um, uh, do they do they use like um, sexual themes and content to sell what it is? And so what I want to do in this screencast is to um, is to connect the year, the year that these commercials are um, uh, were aired to these categories and look, look and see which ones change, which ones don't, and then to show how to use um, a pretty new function in um, in tidy models in our sample actually to be able to do um, bootstrap um, <clears throat> uh, bootstrap intervals for for uh, getting robust uh, estimation of. Uh, how things like that are related to each other. So let's just do an exploratory plot here. So uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, uh, the year, and then um, the first one is whether it was is funny or not. Like the commercial was supposed to be humorous, and then it goes through the product, whether it's patriotic whether it includes a celebrity, whether there's some element of danger, whether there are animals, and whether it uses um, sex for selling. And that's the last one. So use sex is the last one. And then we're going to um, pivot longer there. So what did I, oh yeah. So we're gonna pivot longer those last ones like that. So we're going from the wide shape down to a um, narrow, a tidy shape, a long and skinny shape. If we want, we could rename those, but let's just, uh, as I, th I think this is fine. And then um, let's see, how should we visualize this? I think I'm just going to make line charts for each, um, for each year and for each uh, what's called here name, like this is the commercial characteristic. So I'm going to group by year and name and then summarize, and let's call this um, a pro like proportion or percent or something. And since these are since these are logical values, true, false, true, false, I can just take the mean of that value there, like so. And now we can just um, pop that into a um, plot. So I can ggplot, G and we can say year on the x-axis, that prop value that we made on the y-axis, and then, um, well, you know, maybe I should ungroup. I don't know, probably doesn't make a difference there. Um, and then let's put some lines, some thick 
slightly transparent lines. I don't need the legend because what I'm going to do is I'm going to facet wrap. I'm going to facet wrap by name, which this is that. Is it funny? Is it dangerous and whatnot? So we will, um, so, so this is like our, this is like our, um, like an exploratory plot. We can look at this, we can say, uh, well, it's pretty clear to me that people are making fewer funny commercials over time, at least in this sample that 538 put together. Um, so things like animals looks pretty flat, but it's pretty high though, actually. So we can, um, on the Y axis, that is a um, uh, that is a um, percent like that. So we can change the um, and so we could put some uh, some labels. So I think it is clear that X is a year. So I'm going to take it off. And then we could say percent of commercials. Commercials. I think I did that right. Like so. Okay. So this is our um, this is our exploratory plot here and we can say oh it looks like um, you know the use of sex in commercials is decreasing um, uh, most most commercials show the product right away but some do that sort of slow reveal thing and whatnot so um, we can use statistical modeling to say um, you know um, to quantify um, uh, these changes that we see I mean, if we need to be able to understand these these changes so let's start with you know just our good friend LM here and so we want to say um, uh, let's let's make year our outcome and then we're gonna predict year just from these things funny plus show product quickly plus um, patriotic Plus, like just all these things, and we're going to say which one of these are pre are um, predictive, and which ones aren't. Or I guess we're not going to be measuring predictive power. I guess we're just going to be measuring the statistical properties of this. To if I want to be extra um, extra correct, which of course is a good idea. Because if we if we notice how many like how much data do we have here? Not a lot, right? Um, you know, only about 250 um, commercials are in this, so we're not gonna you know. Um, I, so I can try to build a model here, and I can say um, I can say uh, okay, it looks like this is a the weather the. Um, whether the commercial was funny or not, it is statistically significant whether that is changing with time. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe the um, using sex one is uh, maybe also, but in, you know, and those are in the same direction, decreasing. Um, uh, but this, you know, it's just 250 points, so uh, maybe we would like to um, use a resampling approach to get um, robust um, estimates of how much these are changing and ro robust estimates of um, how certain we are, um, or, or more robust estimates perhaps of how certain we are of um, how much they are or are not changing. So in um, so how can we do that? We can do that by making resampled data sets. So we can load our sample, which is from um, tidy models, and we could do something like take um, boot, let's see, so let's do it, by taking bootstrap resamples of, um, of YouTube like this. We can say, um, we, we can do a ton of them, like, or, you know, or not a ton, but like a thousand of them. And so in each of these, you know, we'll take, we would have um, the, the total number and then we would um, have some that we held out. And if we did something, um, you know, we could, we would, we would um, uh, uh, draw with replacement from our 247, um, 
uh, commercials. Uh, so that, and we would end up with some doubles and we could, you know, a thousand times fit that model and say, how different does it turn out? Like how often, if I draw with replacement um, from this 247, like I'll get some that are different each time. I'll get a different set each time. And if I a thousand times fit this model, how often will funny be, um, uh, you know, negative? And, and how, how often will I get a result that is about this? And how often will I get something that's different? Um, this value for, um, you know, celebrity being positive, um, how often is it that positive and like what shape is the distribution of, of it. So we can do this. So you always could do this um, with our sample, like make bootstraps, fit it a thousand times and whatnot. But um, in, our, in the recent release of our sample, we have a new function um, called uh, reg intervals, which makes this super um, convenient. And so I, what we want to do here is just show how to use it and then show how to talk about the output of it. So I am going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a seed because within the, um, within the function, it, uh, it makes these intervals for you. I mean, sorry, it makes the bootstrap resamples for you. And so what we do, if you want to look at the example down here, we put in our, um, our formula, we put in our data, which here is this YouTube data. And then we can, we can put in some other arguments. Like, let's say um, uh, the, the default is um, this kind of um, uh, type of bootstrap constant interval. But if I want to use the percentile ones, I can method percentile. I can change it to that. And um, if I don't need um, all the... Uh, the individual parameter estimates, like if I don't want to know for for every single bootstrap, if I don't need to keep, oh, what was the model for bootstrap, you know, 23, if I don't need all that, then I would keep, keep reps equals false. But here, let's say I do want to keep it. Let's say, let's say keep reps equals true. Um, and then let's save this as um, YouTube intervals like this. And here, actually, let's, let's do that. Um, all right, and let's set that going. So now what it's doing is it is fitting the model a thousand times. It's fitting the model, or 2,000 times, I think, if I use, I, let's remind myself so I don't say this wrong. Okay, it's fitting it 2,001 times um, uh, because of the kind of percentiles that I, the kind of, excuse me, because of the kind of, bootstrap intervals I decided to make. And so now what I have is this. So I've got my um, intervals here and I've got all the replicates in a little nested level, a little nested column there. So let's go over to results and let's do some exploring of what we've got here. So, um, I mean, I can make a table right here, but let's make a couple of visualizations to just finish things off. Um, so, um, first let's make a table of the summary values. So that term I am going to remove from term, I'm going to remove true, and then I'm going to, what am I going to do? I am going to, um, uh, pipe it into ggplot. I am going to say, I'm going to put, um, the estimate on the x-axis, the term on the y-axis, and I am going to make points. So let's just start with that. There we go. Let us um, reorder this term, fact, reorder, um, term, estimate, so that they're now in a nice order. Let's put a, um, let's put a vertical line at zero so we can see where that is. Um, let's make it dashed and light, like so. Um, let's make these like big. And so, whoops, I forgot a color. 
What did I do wrong? Uh, do, 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 do. X size. <laughs> Term estimate like this. This is right. Oh, geom point. Oh, I forgot the plus. Gotta get that plus. Okay, so we can see which ones are positives, meaning they um, are increasing with time, celebrity and patriotic, which ones are negative, meaning they're decreasing with time, um, commercials that are using sex or are funny. Um, and now I think the only thing, other thing I wanna do here is I wanna add, um, I want to add error bars. So there's error bars and then horizontal error bars, which is what we want here. And if you look back at the intervals, we have we have the lower and the upper. So we just want to say x min equals lower and x max equals upper, like that. Um, you know, maybe we want to make them a little bit. Uh, give them some transparency there. Or so, <clears throat> okay, so let's say, so what do we find here? So, you know, now we can see for these, um, for these bootstrap resamples, uh, for these, we fit the, um, we fit the models, you know, 2,000 times, and we're able to find what are the estimates for these model parameters based on the um, based on the um, uh, conf on these confidence intervals used based on bootstrap resampling. So the um, uh, we we see these two over here, you know, this one's over here, the patriotic, you know, I'm like ah. How confident am I that it's changing at all? You know, not so much. Um, we since we kept the um, since we kept the individual replicates. Let's copy this part. We also can um, make. We can also look at the individual. So this this plot that we were looking at right here um, shows the summary statistics. But we, if we, since we kept the replicates, we can unnest them. They're called replicates, like so. And so now we have, you know, uh, 254 times 2001 um, rows here, and we can make little histograms of them and see how they're um, distributed, which I think is always interesting, like which ones are super narrow, which ones are like broad. Um, so let's make little histograms uh, and let's say, um, let's make them a little bit transparent and we're gonna do another facet wrap. Um, we're gonna facet wrap by term, is that right? Yes, and let's add the vertical line again so that we can, and let's put it behind the histogram. Let's make it a little bit darker. And um, let's look, see what that looks like. Okay, so now what this tells us this tells us the same information as the other plot that we had before, but instead of looking at summary statistics, we're looking at um, the, the whole distribution. So we can see, and I put it in order, I use factory order so we can go from um, the most negative, meaning the most decreasing with time, to the most positive, meaning um, increasing with time. So, um, you know, the distribution for funny is all the way on the negative side, um, and same with... Um, uh, commercials that use sex. And then we see some of these that are centered or overlapping with zero, meaning we don't see evidence that they're changing with time. And then, you know, here, this is, you know, I, it's interesting. Patriotic is the most squashed. So um, it is hard, it's harder for us to really, like, based, like, what the bootstrap resampling is showing us is that, you know, we don't, we don't have like a few of the points, right? Or like some of the points are making the most difference in terms of um, whether it's changing with time or not. So this is, I just think is such a helpful kind of plot to make when you're trying to understand this kind of, um, like these kinds of relationships or, you know, changes with some variable. All right. 
We found our bootstrap confidence intervals to estimate how these characteristics of the Super Bowl commercials are changing with time. We found that there, um, there's less humor and less sexual content in the Super Bowl commercials as time passed, at least for this uh, sample of um, Super Bowl commercials that 538 put together. And there is more, um, there are more patriotic themes and more um, celebrities in them. So um, this, uh, this new function that is in our sample, I think is great for when you're in situations like this and you want to be able to estimate these, um, these kinds of changes. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time.